Welcome to this video on how to code your BMW i3 using the Beamer code app and the VGate Wi-Fi maintenance port dongle. So you need those two things, which I will put a link down in the description below to the Beamer code app on the iOS app store and the Android app store. And I'll also put an Amazon referral link for the VGate Wi-Fi dongle. So let's go ahead and get started. So I do want to warn you, you're doing this at your own risk. You are changing the code on your car. I have had any issues, but I can't guarantee you won't. The first thing we're going to need to do is find the maintenance port on your BMW i3. So I'm in the garage here and I got the door open here on the driver's side. And I'm going to show you where this maintenance port is at. This is where you're going to plug your maintenance dongle into. And there it is right there you can see it's to the left here just to give you a, a, a good idea of where it's at so you've got your buttons here for your gas tank hood and then trunk and then there's the gas and brake pedal I guess it's not a gas pedal because it's an electric car but it is the go pedal and here we go so we're gonna plug the dongle into this and turn on the car. In the i3 and we have the dongle uh, connected, but we need it the car powered up. Um, it has to be in actual go mode, not just in accessory mode. So now we're in our Wi-Fi settings on our iPhone. We're going to click connect V-Link. It's going to, yeah, the phone is going to connect to the network. We have the checkbox. So now we can go to the Beamer Code app and hit connect. So it's going to take a little bit to connect. As you start seeing all these dialogues down below, then you know you're, you've connected successfully and now it's reading all the information that it needs to allow you to code. So now we are waiting until this is done. Now that it's all loaded is we're gonna go to headset unit. This is where the settings for the range, range extender are. So we need to turn the software switch on that'll allow that menu to show up. So the advantage of having the range extender being able to turn on is that allow you to run the gasoline range extender generator in the back down and then you use electricity to drive for a while and find another gas station and it really kind of extends the the range of the car it makes it much more practical to drive which is great because you know cities are kind of far apart here in the u.s so we're in the headset unit here there's different uh, settings what we're going to focus on today is going to be the range extender menu so you're going to tap on that and you're going to go to activate. I've already activated it, so it's already checked. So once that is checked, we're going to click the arrow back and the top right, you'll see code. You're going to have to touch that and it's going to code that setting in your car. You have to do it for everything that you do one at a time. So you have to code every time. So hit code and wait. When it's done coding, we're going to go back out and we're going to go to the instrument cluster. So the instrument cluster has a lot of other settings and stuff that we can check out. What we want to focus on now is enable the unrestricted gas tank. So this car has a uh, 2.4 gallon gas tank, but it is limited to 1.9 gallons. That's because for certain for this to qualify for certain tax like EV credits, the gas range has to be less than the electric range. Um, so the, here we go. So we got increase electronically limited fuel capacity. And then you're going to click on active only for US I3 vehicles. And that's because the European versions already have that. So there are other settings here that you can do. But again, we're not going to mess with those in this video. This is just to unlock what I think are the two biggest features that are missing in the US version of this car that really changes um, how how enjoyable of a car this is to drive if you're going to go on trips. Okay, so now that we have enabled it in the software, 
we need to go to the menu down to the bottom you'll go down to setting and then you'll see range extender checked we'll click on that and then if we were below 75 percent of charge then we can enable hold state of charge which would turn on the range extender um, you see it's not available until you're below that and you can even see our current state of charge here at 100% so you can actually bring this up and as you're driving watch it go down when it hits 70 that will no longer be 75% that'll be no longer grayed out and then you can engage the range extender so that's how to code your BMW i3. If you liked this video, please go ahead and hit like down below. If you want to see more videos on the Chevy Volt, the BMW i3, other electric vehicles, and other cool electric products and devices, uh, go ahead and hit subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video.